the other thing we kind of deal with as church communicators is just the stress of, of Easter. Um, I feel like we just finished Christmas. We're kind of still in that, that post-Christmas season. Um, and now Easter is coming up. Uh, how do we kind of deal with the stress of, of Easter coming, and how do we kind of survive this coming season where it's the buildup of stress all over again towards another Super Bowl of a, of a church, church weekend? For me, it's all about planning. I mean, if you're going to try to do this flying by the seat of your pants, you're going to lose your mind. And so to make sure that you have a plan in place that you can execute and to trust that plan rather than just thinking you were off your rocker um, when you put it together, but just to have that in place from the very beginning. And to be honest with you, a lot of our Easter stress has really more to do with making sure that none of the other balls in the air drop while we're dealing with Easter. And so I think one of the ways that um, one of the ways that we can even prepare for Easter is to do what we can ahead of time and to let go of the things that really don't matter during that season. Like if your church is planning to start some new initiative in the six weeks leading up to Easter, please feel welcome as your church's church communicator to say, um, "Hold up, wait." So I wonder if that's really a smart idea um, because chances are nobody else is thinking about how many different stories you're trying to tell at once and the stress that that's going to put on your staff and honestly on your regular church goers too who feel like they have all of this stuff going on at one time. So plan and keep the main thing the main thing.